Hello and welcome, I'm Tino, hope you're doing great and today we are going to respond a very good question why do I never use battle plans for defense but I use them sometimes for offense so we are going to see what is a battle plan, benefits and drawbacks, this is a battle plan and when you should use it or at least my recommendations and if you are in Paradoxian channel please subscribe here, it's Tino Dua English I created this channel two weeks ago, so I hope to find you here. I will keep moving stuff from Paradoxian to here. So what is a battle plan? A battle plan, first you need to establish a front line. Let's say that our armor units are there and we want to establish a front line here. We are, we are going to push in this direction, maybe here. So we press the Sita key and we drag for example, two provinces, so we establish a front line here and now we press the X here and we have a battle plan. The units will move there, you can choose with the V strategic redeploy so they move faster and they will arrive there very soon and here they are. Once they reach there, they will start gaining this planning bonus, is this bar here, let's unpause. It will grow slowly, but you can press this button and it is spending command power. It will grow much faster. And in just two days, it will be at max. And there it is. So now when you attack, for example here, if you check the details, you are going to see a modifier that is called planning bonus. And there it is, planning bonus, 54%, so it's huge, it's very important to do planning bonus when you have a tough enemy in front of you. But that bonus only applies for attacks, so there are several reasons why I disabled them for defense. For example, this case we just started the war, Sherman is attack, I use the defensive line first to distribute my units on the front line, but then I started doing some manual movements. Why? Because the UI eh, is not very good at calculating risk. So, for example, here we have a level 7 fort and the unit, the UI is spending too many units here. It's completely unnecessary to put five infantry divisions here with just two. They are really fine. So we should move these three units somewhere else. Usually if you play as Poland when the Soviet Union attack, you are kind of overstretched, so you cannot spend placing units like the UEI does. You need to place them in the right places. So for example here it's very weak, three units are not going to hold this plane. So it's it's making really bad calculations, three units in a level seven fort here against not only same three divisions here makes no sense, the enemy is going to attack here so I cancel the battle plan and move them manually. Reason number one, the UI does not calculate very well the risks. Reason number two, again the UI does miscalculations, for example here I have elite units and the UI thinks that the, it's going to break the line so it shows red but as you can see, this red is going to be turned green very soon because they have armor bonus. Let's unpause a little bit, and now it's green. But the problem, it always happens with my elite units. They start red also with my armor and then transform into green. But the problem is that the UI thinks that the enemy is going to break the line and start swapping units from other posi positions where I need that unit to be there and they send them here and they lose the entrenchment and that is not good. And reason number three, super related. Usually I always overstretch, so I have just one or two divisions in each location and if the UI moves the division a little bit, it loses the entrenchment and that's all Germany needs to break the line. So let's talk a little bit about the possible drawbacks and why they are not drawbacks for me. For example, if we have a battle plan like here, you start gaining planning bonus and they could help in your attacks. So for example if I'm going to 
destroy this pocket I could attack from all these directions and help the unit but I usually what I do is the following I put it on a speed 2 and pause and then the unit attacks and just after that I support the attack why? because I don't want to spend manpower the infantry is very bad for attacking so I use my main armor in the attack but now I use my infantry that is on reserve so it not, it's not taking casualties I think that they still get, gain experience but I, they give me a lot of flanking bonus so I do the attack first with armor and then with infantry but since they do not participate they do not take casualties and they do not need to get planning bonus because they are not going to participate anyways it's going to be very fast and I do the same for example if I'm going to attack um, well I don't have a unit to attack here to flank but let's say that our armor will be here I will attack and then support from these other units but they will be on reserve and not participating so when you should use planning bonus well it depends for example here we have the armor units we are kind of destroying Germany we are connecting with low countries and here we have no planning bonus store we units are out of supply but since the enemy is super weak for example we are going to attack here attack then I add the reinforcement to add the and as you can see the number without the planning bonus are quite and fuel well they have some fuel because I use the flamer tanks full of but the enemy has very low they are militia so in this case I, I'm not going to spend three days saving for planning bonus because in three days all this situation will be out of supplies or maybe time is time is very important you cannot wait three days in your offensive if you can attack right now attack if you have for example when you start the game four Sherman units and dredge well yes there you need planning bonus and use it so I do the following very small front lines like this press the armor Sita and hold the right mouse mouse button press and the X there and they start saving planning bonus there I always use this button and in three days also you have doctrines to speed up the planning bonus they can do the attack but as I said only wait those three days if you really need to another drawback from no planning bonus uh, is that you must be far more vigilant for example I'm concentrated here and maybe the Soviets break the line here and since I do not have the the front line they could penetrate and do a disaster on Romania so what I usually do is use hotkeys for example I mark this area and press the control 3, control 4, control 5 so I have my armor divisions here and then go to check the other front that matters and also I mark all the locations let's say for example this is Rubik control 4 so I go 3 for and I keep checking all the front line yes I know it's kind of super exhaustive but it's the game and hope you enjoy thanks for being there have a great day bye bye